think it depends on the individual. Now, like with me, um, I would like to have a homey atmosphere. What I'm used to living now. In other words, I would like to see a area that has a bench outside where I could go outside and sit in the sun, uh, things like that. Um, I would like to have or see things that I recognize like I would have here in my house. Mm -hmm. if, if I don't have something that I can, I can bond with in a nursing home, I feel like I'm staying in a uh, in a motel. Mm -hmm. Let's say, you know. Now, if I have if I have my own things, maybe pictures, maybe a maybe a piece of furniture, you know, things like that of my own, then I can I can make that my new home. It, it's it's so important to me to bond that I made with the Italian people. Yes. You know, like on my wall, I have several um, Christmas cards. Yes. That I received from my friend in Italy. Yes. I in frames and put them up. And that, that's, that's always reminding me of my sentimental family. Yes. Okay. And a lot of times I'm here by myself, but I'm not by myself. Because I can look over there and I can see those Christmas cards and I can I can say, hey, somebody was thinking of me. Mm -hmm. You know, things like that. It and that's it means so much to me. <laughs> that's a good question because. It depends how you look at that. Like, um, if I'm living in a in a nursing home, uh, things like religion. Um, that a lot of nursing homes do not have a place of worship for the residents. And when you go into a, a nursing home, you kind of lose that. Um, that touch with your religion. So that that's very important, especially especially in the later stages, because religion becomes a, a very important part of your life. Visitation rights or visitation times. You know, like I live on a schedule, so I do things certain times each day. Now, when I go into a nursing facility, I would do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So if there's visitation rates when I, in my schedule, I'm doing this, that visitation will not be good. Mm -hmm. I think nursing facilities have has to design the homes not the way they think they should be or what they think I would like, but to understand us, talk to us, and see what we'd like. Mm -hmm. in, in other words, um, they might have they might have a beautiful, but if we don't feel at home there, it means nothing to us. Mm -hmm. Like there's a there's a uh, there's a nursing home here that that is beautiful. I mean, when you look at it, they, you think, oh boy, that's nice. But they don't have the programs. That they don't have the activities. You know, it's just it's beautiful to look at, but it's not good to live in. Mm -hmm. I think I think nursing homes have to be designed. So the, the hallways is almost like a circle that if I would go out my door and if I would 
if I would want to take a walk, I would walk down the hallway, but I would end up back at my door. Yes. Again. I would not get lost. Okay. Um, and I think, I think each hallway has to be a certain color mm -hmm. that I can relate to. So if I live in the green hallway, I know I'm close to home. Mm -hmm. I think the home has to be an open concept. Okay, not a lot of doors, uh, a lot of free space. Okay. Spaces, spaces where you can see outside in the bad weather. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe like a stun room. Mm -hmm. um, and I think like a lot of nursing facilities here, they have they have a special area that might have an a fish aquarium where residents will sit there and just watch the fish. Yes. Or maybe maybe I, there's another facility that has a huge bird cage that they have different types of birds in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, things like that. I think I think it's important. Like with me, I always have a dog. Now, um, I, I'm not sure if a dog living there with me would be a good idea. Um, but I think I think if there was dog visits or animal visits, mm -hmm. you know, like if if you have a dog, if your dog would be allowed to come in maybe once a week or whatever, to to bond with me, that would that would really be nice. The, the senses are very important. Like here in my house, I have I have what what we call a uh, uh, a central garden. Okay, it's a place where I can go sit and I can smell things. Mm -hmm. um, I can see the vibrant colors of the flowers. Um, I can touch the things. And I have an herb garden mm -hmm. where I grow various different herbs, rosemary, mints, things like that. Now, if you take your hand and you brush across that, that smell will stay on your hands for hours mm -hmm. and I, it is so relaxing mm -hmm. activities are, are, are good but they have to be things I want to do mm -hmm. um, I made it I made a note to point that out. Like, um, like a, a a lot of nursing homes go into, they they give you a piece of paper and let you color. Yes. Okay. To me, that's it a note, you know that's childish. To some people, they like doing that, but for me, so the activities have to be geared towards me. Mm -hmm. right? I love doing jigsaw puzzles, mm -hmm. you know, puzzles and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I like doing handicraft activities. Mm -hmm. So they could build that like uh, around here. They have they have nursing facilities that have have two different rooms. One for the males and one for the females, but they could use either one. But like the female might be a sewing room. Yes. So they could crochet and knit and things like that. And then for the men, they might have a workshop. Mm -hmm. They have basic woodworking tools or things like that 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 they can do. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to 
when we had the COVID um, and the nursing facilities were, were, they were locked down. Yes. No visitors, no nothing. So the people living in there did not have that interaction with their loved ones. Yes. So through experience now, I think I think the nursing facilities have to have areas that the patients or the resident and the the guests can interact with each other. Mm-hmm. You know, like like touch is so important to me. You know, like if if somebody's talking to me, a lot of times they would just grab my hand and and talk to me, and and that that gives me that bond mm-hmm. that, that we connected, mm-hmm. and that that's that's so important. Eye contact is so important. Like if if you're talking to me and don't look at me or look me in the eye, uh, in my eyes you just you're just talking. Mm-hmm. You're not talking to me. It has to be an area that is perhaps quiet. You know, it can't be it can't be next to the kitchen, let's say, where there's a lot of cluttering and clanking and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And things like that. Uh, and a homey, a homey atmosphere. Mm-hmm. That it's it's more like Sitting in somebody's living room Mm -hmm. than sitting in a waiting room. There's two different types of staff workers that live, that works, and they, the one is the type that it's a job. Mm -hmm. They go to work from for eight hours and they, Mm And then there's other ones that know how to interact with the residents. They, when they talk to you, they talk to you by your name. It's not, hello, honey, how are you doing? It's, hello, Harry, how are you doing? Mm-hmm. You know, and they have to learn how to listen. If they asked us the question, they have to understand that it might take us a little while to comprehend what they're saying Mm -hmm. and reply. Like a lot of times they will answer their own question Mm -hmm. because they're waiting on an answer and they they supply an answer. Mm -hmm. It's so important that they understand what it's like living with dementia. Mm -hmm. Not just the not just the medical part or the housekeeping part, things like that, but they have to understand how to get inside of us, mm-hmm. how to how to get that bond. Mm-hmm. They can relate that when they walk into the room, it's hi, how you doing? You know, it's friendly. It's not I'm here to take your temperature or, or things like that. Mm-hmm. I, I think I think I think nursing homes have to change. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, I think the old concept of my grandparents' nursing home is different than today's standards. Mm-hmm. Um, the the old nursing home is where you go to die. Mm-hmm. Okay. The, the new nursing home has to be designed that you go there to live the rest of your life. 